Hey, Jeff Big Daddy Wayne here, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Big Daddy Knows. I think you'll find today's uh, little video clip, my search for an audience, my search for subscribers, my search for love. Many, in many, many ways, I'm telling you the truth. I am looking for a new wife. I need the perfect mate. There's no doubt about it. But I need subscribers and an audience more. My problems in life isn't when I'm on stage, it's when I'm off. You know, I read the Globe, ladies and gentlemen. I find this the most informative of all newspapers. People make fun of the Globe, but let me tell you, when they say somebody's going to die, they die. Anyway, this is the year in of 2017. Don Rickles died. Mary Tyler Moore died. Jerry Lewis died. Roger Moore died. Aaron Morin died. Glenn Campbell died. Bella Reese died. Adam West died. I loved all these people. They're part of my life. But when I read something like this, I have a different reaction than you. Not only did I read this, but I think my career might move ahead. You see, I'm on the bottom of the show business ladder, right? I'm at the bottom, the bottom. I have nothing. My career hasn't moved at all. So when people up the ladder die, that means I might move up. So, you know, they say it's lonely at the top. Let me tell you, it's lonelier at the bottom. I recently started believing I'm going to come back as a monkey. I was in some kind of fever. I'm not sure what was happening. Yes, I still drink, and why shouldn't I? You should be happy I haven't moved on to heroin. Let me tell you something. They're dead. They have their names and faces on a major publication. Their stories were on all the newscasts, cable, network, and there too. That little ding, if you heard that little ding. Give me that ding, give me that ding. Let me just tell you, ladies and gentlemen, if I died right now, nobody would give a shit that I was dead. There'd be no publication. There'd be no pictures. There would be no newscast. There would be bullshit. They'd probably leave me where I died because I have no insurance. People go, Jeff, why don't you have insurance? I'll tell you why. Somebody's going to care. I'm going to cause trouble for somebody. They're going to have to give me a little attention because I leave no list of my children, no list of contacts, no insurance. I'm somebody's problem. And have you ever noticed when you're a problem, somebody's got to pay attention? This is just my outlook. It may not be the right one, but it is one. And that's more than most of you people have. I mean, if you're watching this right now, don't you think you have to seriously question your existence? You could be drinking like me, or out having fun, or golfing. But look at you, you're sitting in front of a, a screen, watching an unknown comedian bitch about famous people dying. I f don't fear death. I'm going to heaven or to hell. There's only two places to go. That's a 50-50 odds as far as I'm concerned. Or a monkey. That increases the odds of coming back as a monkey. Now let me tell you something. If I died and come back as a talking monkey, that will make newspaper coverage. Networks will cover it. Cable news will cover it. And you'll have a reason for viewing this YouTube channel Big Daddy Knows because Big Daddy knew, does know and you could say when they run the monkey that came back who is Jeff Big Daddy Wayne I saw it first that gives you a heads up you're ahead of the pack of the common herd so subscribe get your friends to subscribe to Big Daddy Knows Asta Vagina